Hello guys, what's up, what's up? It's a wrap, it's a wrap. What's happening guys? Welcome back to Girl Chat, hashtag Follow your football. Yes guys, it's been a minute. We've really missed you guys. It's uh, It's been real, but uh, we are back. We are back with a bang. And you know what? We are back like we never left. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I uh, know you guys have missed us. We've also missed you so much. Yeah, but from now, be ready. We do moto motors in Akuja, yeah? But today, as you can see, two kondani a jersey. So, to go up a team gold chat. Na team red. Okay, uh, yeah. I don't know which red. Which red? Liverpool, definitely, but the Reds, original Reds. Of course, I mean, not the Devils. I mean, I imagine Liverpool, I'm afraid I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh huh. Anyway, we are so excited, guys, to be back. Please make sure you stick till the end. But in the meantime, please give us a like. Subscribe. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe. All right. And you share. And share with your friends. All right. Yeah. But mostly subscribe and leave us a comment, yeah? yeah. We have so much to share and uh ja Kama Kawaida Ndani and Yumba Eddie. Sherry Hapa. Yes, <laughs> and uh Mr. Georges and Kali Pupa. Uh, send your greetings. Yes, they said hi. Maybe next time they can answer that. <laughs> Uh, we have been, uh, it's so good to have you back and uh, just to start up uh, we're gonna start with Arsenal as we all know Arsenal have lost in the last three Premier League matches back to back <laughs> the latest one being Ia Leo, Ia Leo. <laughs> was this today or yesterday? it was yesterday yeah. uh, well, big one, uh, team, team, team Southampton. Southampton imagine yeah, and uh, Arsenal, they think they are ready to go for Felipe Coutinho from Aston Villa. Mm. Why do you think Arsenal want to go for Felipe Coutinho, honestly? <sighs> Arsenal, 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 Arsenal. So what, okay, first and foremost, I'm very happy because, uh -huh. oh, Arsenal hawa kukua anataka tulale. Sijui, we have two game at hand. Sijui, <laughs> a lot was happening in Arsenal, only to realize that the hand they had, it was handicapped. <laughs> So anyway, what will continue do for them? Um, is he gonna bring any transformation? Is he the continue that we know? Honestly, I don't know. I'm skeptical about it. I don't think he's really gonna do. I don't much. think it's a good move for them, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, me, I will be for they go for maybe some young youth out there. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, they continue. I think Coutinho has had his best days now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, this tells his role. He's at Aston Villa, surely, right now. And if he were to perform, then maybe he would perform maybe mm -hmm. five games. And then after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be the same thing because even if you look at like uh, Aston Villa, mm -hmm. Steven Gerrard has 38% win mm -hmm. after he joined Aston Villa. Mm -hmm. And he has all this team, including Coutinho himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't think he will do much to them, honestly. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I don't think it was, it's gonna be a very wise move, but mm -hmm. for me, um, whether they're gonna flop, the better for me, the better for me to bring new news and yeah. to be happy about this. So, whatever <laughs> your so move is. so happy <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and still on Arsenal, yeah? As you all know, like a Z, the last time he scored was last year in December. Yes. Yeah, and of late, they're saying he's diagnosed with COVID. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much uh, surrounding Arsenal. And mm -hmm. of course, the, the last game with Southampton, they had to to settle for Nketiah yeah. as they are number one. Okay, I, I feel Arsenal, you know, for Lacazette, you know, it's their striker. Mm -hmm. And if your striker has not been performing, then it means then it's trouble. Yeah. You know, the, there's a lot of trouble that is happening. <laughs> Even when you use Aubameyang in Madarao too in January. Even Aubameyang had to travel himself to Barcelona to make the deal himself, yeah? And we're still, they're still paying him. <laughs> they're still paying him. And still on Aubameyang right now has, is it 10 goals? Yeah, he has 10 has goals. 10 goals. From January, since January. In all competitions, yeah. since January. Mm -hmm. 
and you will get to wonder yeah what was the idea of letting Aubameyang leave Arsenal honestly okay for Aubameyang leaving Arsenal I, I just think he had become out of hand mm -hmm. he he had disciplinary issues agreed but now okay i just feel you know like before Aubameyang left and how lacazette was performing you know mm -hmm. lacazette was not still performing right yeah, yeah yeah so i feel it was not a very intelligent move of them to do at that particular time mm -hmm. and yes lacazette has had some very phenomenal and good moments but he's not scoring this year he's not been scoring <laughs> so at the end of the day in football <laughs> You just have to score. You have to maintain. You just have to score, yeah. regardless of your situation. So exactly. Yeah. Like as long they've been him. misfiring, honestly, these have been proven by their last three games. Mm -hmm. They have lost to some unexpected teams. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we just hope uh, it's clear in the summer they'll be out there looking for a striker, and we don't know who could lie to us a lot. But still, they've had very good players. Besides them not having a striker, mm -hmm. we have the likes of the Might. We have Mate those likes. Might is a defender, and after all. But okay, he's still been doing phenomenal. He's you okay. know. He's okay, and I remember. People remember, banished him for the transfer cash. Besides them losing these three games consistently. Uh, consecutively, they've mm -hmm. been performing well. Yeah, they've been well. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you look at uh, still, uh, eh, they were Arsenal. Okay, so some good news is that Ateta was the manager of March. Yeah. But I think he might be the yeah, worst. Thing yeah. the <laughs> and then, you know, Ateta has been having some good moments because uh -huh. before then, mm -hmm. he he was at the verge of being fired, right? Agreed, agreed. And then, you know, he pulled up himself. He was able yeah. to get some very good players. And everyone was like, Ateta in. Yeah, Ateta, Finally. Ateta. Well, my fans, at the yeah. football, football is you crazy. just have to have the guts and the heart. And the patience, I guess. Yeah. I, I guess patience. they are anointing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, moving on, we move to Tammy Abraham. You know, Tammy Abraham was in Chelsea, and there's a season he did so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was like their top scorer. But uh, he fell out with uh, Thomas Tuchel, mm -hmm. and they sold him to Roma. And he has been exceptional at Roma, honestly. Mm -hmm. And he has 23 goals, huh? Eh? 23? Yes, he has 23 mm -hmm. goals in all competition for Roma. Mm -hmm. And uh, there have been rumors that uh, Tammy Abraham might be back to Premier League. Mm -hmm. And now they're saying, yeah, mm -hmm. Roma has valued him for 100 million pounds. Is Tammy Abraham worth 100 million? What I can say is, Tammy has been performing. You know, like even when he was at Chelsea, he was doing great. Okay. So whatever their fallout was, I honestly did not quite concur with that. Yeah. But that had to happen. But you know what? When you're worth it, you're worth it. You're worth it. Yeah. But I'm so happy, honestly, for him. And he was still performing. You know, it's not yes, like Tammy was, was not performing at Chelsea for him to be. To, be, to get rid of exactly. him. Exactly. So I just feel... It's. I'm happy for him actually. I just feel Chelsea. They just wanted to get rid of him, mm -hmm. so they did it with the the easiest way they could, mm -hmm. and now he's proving them wrong, yeah. honestly, yeah. and he's doing amazing. Well, should he come to Premier League, it will be something good. Honestly, we value talent at Premier League, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's quite competitive out there. So, where do you think Tammy Abraham might end up <laughs> in the Premier League? Please leave us a comment. Where do you see Tammy Abraham come summer? Will he be back at Premier League? <laughs> Man <United. laughs> I hope you're with me, guys. <laughs> I don't think we'll be with Anthony Akikuja Man U, but you saw it too. Number nine, where to a Cologne? See, I to my mood. And uh, speaking of United, uh, we all know Luis Van Gaal. Yes, he used to be Manchester United and he won with them uh, in the FA Cup final. Mm -hmm. Yes, and recent, in the recent past years come out to say he was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, it's been good that he said he went through the diagnosis and he's now okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are happy to hear that and uh, we honestly wish him all the best. Uh, yeah, and uh, still on the Vanguard, he was saying that... Uh, the idea of taking the World Cup 2022 to Qatar mm -hmm. is not uh, an idea of football development, mm -hmm. but it's all about uh, financial situation. What do you think? 
Why did they FIFA how to take FIFA to FIFA World Cup to Qatar? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm 50-50 about it. It might be financial reasons. It might be okay when we look at Qatar and their yeah, football players. The they're not so much when it comes to football. Exactly. You know, we don't know much about them. But then also when I look at Qatar, I feel mm. we are more closer to home than to any other country so <laughs> what, do you think we, why, what do you think we are closer home <laughs> we are somehow at least we've been having these arabs in our country <laughs> you know <laughs> we can relate with them and okay. like being in another country and then you know like right now uh -huh. for, uh, like let's say we wanted to go and watch that game mm -hmm. it's easier mm. for us to travel from here to qatar it's affordable. What do you think, guys? Yeah, that's true. Ni, so, ni ndege moja tu. Ni moja tu. Just buy the ticket and you're in Qatar. <laughs> well, let me tell you, guys. Uh -huh. We had World Cup in Africa and uh -huh. still. At I say. Yeah. We still didn't go. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> These people are saying that Qatar is closer. We are still happy. We will wait. By the time this year ends, we will know who went to Qatar and who is. The thing is, come on, come to Nigeria to connect when you to Nigeria. Qatar. Me, I'm very open for that idea. What do you think? But also, let's think of it this way. Besides an African country, I feel Qatar is. Financially stable. They <laughs> they have the stadiums. They have all that, but uh -huh. actually they have eight stadiums that are will be air conditioned fully uh -huh. for the World Cup. Uh -huh. But uh, if you look at Qatar, it's uh -huh. an Arab country. This is the first World Cup going to an Arab country. This is always the first time. We have to embrace that. Agreed. Yeah, it will be a whole different uh, experience. Honestly, considering Lazimba, you go and stick to the uh, religion and all that yeah no, we're not gonna stick to their religion i don't know well they have come out uh, one they have said they mm -hmm. won't condone any homosexuality activities mm -hmm. in the world cup mm -hmm. yeah so i think it's uh, it's quite a religious religious country okay for That's me now that, that that is where i kind of differ with them you know mm -hmm. when it comes to religion when it comes to sexuality when it comes to gender a Why? lot really happens okay. and mm. you, we have to understand this other the minority okay. we might you know we might not agree with them mm. but at the end of the day we are all sinners and we all sin differently so i just don't like the idea when i'm a sinner casting stone you, to uh -huh. another sinner you know <laughs> And they're giving you ultimatums and all that. Uh, uh, that one, there, I completely disagree with them. Whether you are an LG, you belong to the LGBT community, or this other community, you are all equal. And I don't think that should really define whom you are. And when it comes to to football, I just don't think. And also religion, honestly speaking. Yeah. Alright, guys. Out. Let me know what you think of the idea of having a World Cup in Qatar. Of course, there are so many. Uh, reservations going to that country, but at the end of the day, it will happen. Yeah, so we will have to because they are saying they won't change their ways for just the 28 days. Yeah, so if you think your Roman they will go there driving, <laughs> you should be no, there. they agree. <laughs> they've been driving. You know, you know you, you're, you're not up to par with the news, you're not up to par with the news. But the thing is, I just want us to respect Qatar, you know, like. Qatar has okay, their the, own the, ways of doing things. Let me tell you guys, the first time the a Qatar woman drove, do you know what you're doing? He's in your garage, but when you come from Nikwa, come on, Benjamin. Okay, maybe, maybe what I will have to say is Qatar have their own way of doing things, and I completely Understand. respect. You know, I respect that. I do not want to go there and tell them, you know, you have to do. Mm -mm. This is in Wakutoka, Kanairo. Sitaki, mm. and they may do not want to reform anything to them because the. They, they know why they are doing that. Okay. It's the same way I want them to respect these other people. You know, yeah. we can respect each other without transforming or doing what others are doing at the end of the day. Correct all right. Wrong. We'll see how it goes and we'll be here for all the updates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, back to Premier League. We all know Mike Dean. He's 53 now and uh, he'll be retiring to VAR. Of course, kuna team umekuwa na grudge na Mike Dean. He has not been the favorite, honestly, of the referees, I can say. 
Number the red cards. I think Arsenal he, they know him well. <laughs> actually, he's the most person who has given out the most red cards. <laughs> So you'll be going to VAR. Mm-hmm. So you think you are offside and you're okay. It will be even worse Can going you? forward. <laughs> <laughs> My team is there. <laughs> well, I, I know, but hmm, we all know him from his peculiar face. Yeah. You know his face. His bald head. His face is something. But so you know, like. Okay, my only worry is, you know, like when you know we are Rajwanga, it's the machines involved and everything. Only now for me to know, like, there's someone well, that I know and I know his reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna sit well with me, especially when CGVR yeah. has been denied. Uh-huh. How? It will be chaotic. That was when not like a computer. <laughs> it's behind VR. I just yeah. feel VR is gonna be dramatic as it has been dramatic. Yeah, when yeah. he was doing the referee. Yeah. All right, so still on Premier League, Eric Ten Hag mm-hmm. is set to be confirmed the next Manchester United manager in the summer. These are good news, honestly. If you look at uh, maybe just his reputation at Ajax, mm-hmm. yeah, he has gone all the way to Europa Champions League final. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, the well, the local league, I think the one member, if I'm not wrong, mm-hmm. yes, this year he's looking up to two cups final. Mm-hmm. And I remember there was a pass, there was a reporter at Kwanda Moriza Juzi Kwa Newsroom mm-hmm. about Manchester United. And he was like, Do you have anything about Ajax and the two cups remaining? Yeah, so he's a focused man, that's the kind of a person we need. <laughs> So scared to live up. Ah, Manchester United. Yes, the club of many wonders. You know what? Okay, what I love about Manchester United is that they easily forget quickly. Like, just a how. What do you mean? Like Manchester will praise someone. You uh-huh. will think, oh my good lord, we. Mona to chafikro ya mtu, regardless of whom that person is, whether it's. I don't know, I just don't want to mention from defending to strikers and right now Manchester. How many how many coaches have you had? Are they three? Yeah, since when? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like every time if you do not keep up to par with when it comes to Manchester and their coaches. I know he's not a he's not around. Oh my good lord, that one is an interim. So for me, when it comes to Manchester, whatever they talk, no matter how many the praises they're gonna give, I just let them, you know, I just let them be because for me, they're good at talking, but something that they always feel, and I've said this over and over and over, they lack the patience. They lack the patience. Man, you only want a person who's gonna perform. You yes. perform today, tomorrow, you know, you two seasons, three out. seasons, one month. Firstly, you are out. I, I, okay, for me, I just feel someone like Koji for mm-hmm. example. Mm-hmm. He was given the chance. Mm-hmm. I think he was there for four years. Uh-huh. And uh, in the four years, mm-hmm. he took us to a final. Mm-hmm. And he lost it. To Villarreal. To Villarreal mm-hmm. of all the teams. So I think that was the downfall of OGS. But and uh, from there, even the players feel like, you know, he didn't make maybe the decisions he was supposed to in the final. Maybe you, you look guys at, uh, underestimated Villarreal. You know, if you look at uh, Villarreal went ahead this season to play with Chelsea for the, was it uh, the Super Cup? Mm-hmm. Yes, the, the window of Champions League and the window of Europa League. Mm-hmm. They go to play the, I guess, some Super Cup or something. Mm-hmm. Yes, and um, the, 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 the game went draw, mm-hmm. and they, they went all the way to penalties, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, Chelsea had the guts to make the changes for the goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think that was something OGS was not capable of. Yeah, because, uh, well, Henderson, as they say, mm-hmm. he has a better reputation when it comes to penalties than De Gea. Mm-hmm. But he was not able to make such decisions. And those small things that are the ones that cost OGS's job. That's all I would say because honestly, if you look at the Europa League final, mm-hmm. 
everyone was for this one related with tequila. No, not everyone. Kind of. Oh, yeah, <laughs> most of us were like. No, I just, no, 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 I just yeah, feel you guys underestimated. You. No, like if you can recap to our previous video when we were talking about Villa and Bayern, I was in, I've seen Villa playing. I've seen them performing and it's a team to watch. Okay. Right now we're gonna play with them, right? Yeah, in, the, yeah. in the final uh in the quarters, yes. in the in the semis. So she's around in semi. Mm. Always confused semi and quarter. So she's an hour and it is a team to watch. Remember, I had this games. and I told you this. I've seen Villa playing and it's a team to watch. So I just yeah, feel maybe Manu underestimated that. That's true, because even look at uh, maybe the Champions League mm -hmm. this season. Mm -hmm. They've gone all the way, they've beaten Bayern, Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Bayern oh, Munich was a uh, storm to reckon with. Mm -hmm. um, they, they beat them at home, away they went to draw. Yeah. And, um, this is on there's no away goal like bandit so yeah. they were out like that yeah. Yeah. so anyway we'll be here to see how how the semi-final of champions league proceeds mm -hmm. as they play with uh, liverpool and uh on to some other news is the uh, mesut ozil mm -hmm. yes he has been dropped by the from the Bashe squad mm -hmm. what is happening indisciplinary cases and performance <laughs> obviously we know why Ozil left Arsenal it was something to do with discipline yeah. because he was not playing mm -hmm. yeah then he went to Banafashe he's not been performing yeah, right, right. actually I guess he has one goal in, in 11 appearances yeah yeah, yeah then uh, I guess they had a backlash with the management mm -hmm. yeah so they decided to drop him from the squad so I don't think we will see Ozil Place anytime soon. Oh God, I just wish we could have seen some more of his appearances, but it is what it is. Actually, I was very happy to hear his transfer and his move and everything. Yeah, I was so happy, you know, to see him play. Yeah, but she has not gone. I think it goes back to the kind of a person he is. Yeah, so at the end of the day, yeah, history. Maybe history repeats it. It keeps repeating itself for him. Yeah. Alright, now on to some uh, Kenyan news. Um, of course, President Uhuru recently opened the Jamhuri Sports Complex, which is uh, <clears throat> which is about okay, which was commissioned for around six hundred and nine million worth, and uh, they are saying the complex has about three football pitches, one rugby pitch running track, hockey pitch, basketball pitch, handball pitch, mm -hmm. children's playing area, ablution ab block of course, mm -hmm. police houses as well as a police post, mm -hmm. picnic site, a clubhouse and a food court. And they're saying it's all for free. Ah, for the food court, I don't think it's going to be for free. No, of course, they have to pay, <laughs> but for the entry is free. Yeah, for the entry is free. Yes. So I only feel this is going to really favor our rugby players. I don't know, they've been quite phenomenal, <laughs> quite studied. Uh, when it comes to our Kenyan football, honestly speaking, it's I really don't sad. think we are really going to utilize that to the fully. But mm. once I check our rugby players, our, rug, our, our rugby team, then I feel this is something that it's going to bring some, some bits of transformation in. If, if Even if we transform in one world when it comes to the world of sport then i'm happy for that so yeah yeah if we happen we're gonna be known out there for our rugby mm -hmm. then i'm happy that's much better yeah yeah honestly this is very good mm -hmm. uh we just hope uh, guys will be able to utilize this opportunity mm -hmm. like um the government summit to engage in facilities mm -hmm. we've always been asking for facilities yeah and here they are mm -hmm. it's a big 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 uh, sports complex mm -hmm can go and check it out mm -hmm. maybe sometime we could just walk there and show you guys what it's all about yeah yeah in some yeah we'll, we'll, we'll show you that video yeah. to show you what it's all about yeah and uh, still on uh, now in africa of course we all know the world cup qualifications happen and uh, we have ghana senegal morocco tunisia and cameroon to represent africa in the world cup mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do you think Africa will be? Who is proceeding the most? 
actually which am, team are you supporting i'm betting or vetting for senegal i just yes. feel senegal have all it takes yes. because yes the keeper yes. he's phenomenal he's welcome. you know he's well, like world class he's world class so mm-hmm. i just feel this time senegal should really go far yeah even if we might not qualify but kindly see a part of 16th because, no uh, yeah yeah because looking at senegal they are in group a yeah? mm-hmm. and they'll be in group with qatar okay equator and netherlands they should yeah. take part they should go if it is that game yeah, yeah yeah they should go somewhere honestly mm-hmm. and i wish them all the best but also all the other african countries mm-hmm wish them all the very best when they all the way mm-hmm. yeah yeah yes and uh <clears throat> we had talked about uh, the cassette before mm-hmm. yes now on to other news we all know uh, world cup is happening but uh, the world cup body fifa snubbed the kenyan referees <laughs> and on top of that 198 uh, officials at the fifa voted against uh, solution of Kenya and the Kenyan football so I don't know where is Kenyan football heading honestly I guess f- at first we had issues of corruption mm-hmm. we had issues of management yes. you know a, a lot has been happening and what I can say is mm-hmm. in as much it's not fair it's not right but I feel just feel we should just put our shit together because we as a country we should not be arguing about management or corruption cases you know those are really? things that should be way behind us but mm-hmm. if those things are still following us then definitely we really have a long way to go and a lot to conquer so yeah. we have to work on that um, honestly and remember uh, we had a kenyan referee at the just concluded afcon mm-hmm. and he was dropped yeah. going to world cup mm-hmm. and someone like uh, jani sikazu mm-hmm. the one from zambia we all know we all remember him mm-hmm. he had a very dramatic game <laughs> a dramatic game mm-hmm. but he's going to world cup mm-hmm. yeah so i don't know i just think uh, we just this, we need to do something just the kenyan football but actually i was reading about him Skazu, and um, his He's really been great in what he's been doing. Okay. And uh who would think a country like Zambia? Zambia honestly. All the countries. Zambia. How much is their sh- Jesus? Ukafikiria tu Zambia hivi tu kiti tu chini like at what is happening in Kenya, but I feel Kenya tuko na porojo mobo. Porojo and we really have to stop that in we start okay. working instead of you know I feel Kenyans we are really complaining. good at complaining and not mm-hmm. doing anything you know mm-hmm. and that is really really messing us up that, that's for real mm-hmm. like if you look maybe just look at what is happening in some other African countries mm-hmm. and what is happening to ours mm-hmm. I think we have maybe just something to appreciate yeah yeah mm-hmm. and something to talk about mm-hmm. yeah now Fernandinho is leaving Man City in the summer for f- as a free agent after living as a legend. What do you think Fernandinho? I would like to for for a while. Yeah, he was a good he has been a good player at uh, Man City. Uh, but at least I hope when you attend a red card is such a comfort. I guess so like it's about him. Because sang a yellow card and a red card I, uh, every time even... booked 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 so mm-hmm. I, I, i don't have a lot to say about him honestly yeah 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 that's for sure and we all know uh uefa champions league uh what finals happened mm-hmm. now we have semi set we have of course real madrid man city mm-hmm. who's taking the day ha huh. this game i will somehow like i want man city to lose i want real but i don't like our back, our history when it comes real. to real <laughs> and then once i saw the game we had with man city i'm like you know what i'm waiting for man city really yeah i'm waiting for real <laughs> <laughs> but at least ramos ramos alitoka ramos so. alitoka <laughs> i'm like that eh? guy ramos ah. alivunja sala alitumbia <laughs> mtu ah. i will never forgive him <laughs> So for me and real this I don't think there's any way I'll they support them. Agree. Yeah, even so, Chelsea with the real they've never agreed. <laughs> But I'm so glad finally 
Kajana walichuja chance. <laughs> so mm. mimi sasa hivi um team man team I'm not team man city but I have seen how you played with them and tutawakonka because we we gonna defeat Villarreal and then Man City it was a Liverpool plays Villarreal walk in the past uh walk in the park I don't think so I think Villarreal is more of a defensive team <laughs> so first leg was to come and to come and draw a little nil or one one no yeah mm mm let me show no yeah was to come and we are the mentality giants we do not give up whatever that comes our way we are able to kick it and Villarreal I'm sorry I betted for you but you know what I was just betting for you because I knew this you got to meet us <laughs> and now once you beat us um you know we just want plus for you I'm sorry all right now Sean Dyke has been sacked by Burnley after 10 years with the club what is happening at Burnley he was the longest serving manager in the Premier League Burnley have not been I guess they are position 18 right yeah 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 18 yeah. 19 so we've been performing well wanaenda relegation mm-hmm. and you know like Burnley yes imekwanga a, a team in the in the middle you know mm-hmm. not doing quite well but then it was it was just somewhere so i just feel for them to be right where they are at this particular moment then they just needed to have some change some changes with them and huh, The problem is the changes they have made have not seen any sort of improvement. Yeah. All right, now on to FA. You know Man City was set to, to play with Liverpool that was yesterday Saturday. Mm-hmm. And Liverpool won 3 was it 3-2? Yeah. Very dramatic game to end the end. Yes, and uh, I don't know. I think Man City they had a problem at the the beginning of this game honestly they were not playing that uh, the team we all know mm-hmm. just growing later into the game and uh, they had a scare for Liverpool towards the end okay. i just feel if man city played the way they played their 90 plus 1 huh that that is the man city i know you know <laughs> like so like that is the man city that i know and you know when it comes to man city i know of them playing world class football yeah but this time Mm-hmm. Liverpool the way we did play, especially during the first half yeah, you know uh there was something that was completely off but i also feel it's the pressure that they really have you know right now man city are at the verge of anything like right now you know position 2 never counts it never ever counts and i feel right now they are at the verge of that and now we as the number 2 we do not have that pressure and we just want to challenge them and i just don't think they are up All right. Now the other game was uh, Chelsea Crystal Palace mm-hmm. and uh, it's on going. Okay. It's uh, it that means now Chelsea are leading 2-0. Oh. So it seems like it's Chelsea versus Liverpool in the final. Who will take the day? <laughs> We all know to that like you guys can bet on this. Do you think Chelsea <laughs> will be ready to lose another another game with honestly? us? Yes. I don't think they're ready for us. Or you guys are not ready for them. They are not ready for us. What do you think will happen? Let me check. I will, I'm going to repeat this. Mm-hmm. We are taking FA. Quadruple. We are taking you ever. We are taking the quadruple. We are taking EPL. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You're okay. not ready. Okay. You just not ready. <laughs> You're not. I say I'm not. All right. Now Um, just as we wind up we can look at uh, the premier league that has happened the uh, match day 33 have mm-hmm. uh, tottenham was beaten by brighton 1-0 at uh, spurs stadium that was a very nice game and i'm so happy they were beaten <laughs> <laughs> i didn't see that one coming i i, I was betting for a draw actually you know what so that coming honestly mm-hmm. i think but we Was it and it was a very was a late goal. Yeah, it was a late yeah, goal. Was the end. Yeah. Yeah. Now of course the uh, United winning Norwich 3 to Cristiano Ronaldo pulling out uh, hat-trick. another hat trick. Yeah. Hat trick back to back after pulling the same with uh, Tottenham. Yeah. My my only worry is I, I just don't get it why man you are happy 
beating a team that is number 20. I just, I just don't get oh, happy. it. We're happy to take the <laughs> three points. Now we are number five and we are three points behind us and all who are number four. Okay, we just wait for us. You, you, know, know, you, on got, you don't have to worry about uh, top four, but at least we are concerned. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, <laughs> just with the next game, Arsenal and the let your know form. Mm-hmm. Big uh-huh. Yeah, then we'll be top top form. God. Then we have uh, Watford, Brentford. Of course, mm-hmm. Brentford won 2-0. 2-1, I mean. Oh, two one. Yes, then Southampton, Arsenal. Of course, they were beaten 1-0 <laughs> <one year>, Arsenal. <laughs> it was so exciting to watch. Mm-hmm. Then Newcastle, Leicester. Newcastle won. That was earlier today to 1. Oh, oh uh, I left it at... One, one. Then it must have been a very very late because at the 89th minute, but we were home for me. Yeah, I imagine Newcastle one one. Then West Ham oh. one drawn to one one at uh, Burnley. That one I did anticipate for it. I thought West Ham had it. Yeah, but yeah. always uh, when West Ham is playing, our man always says it. Goal goal goal. goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now and some other matches we can look at. Come Tuesday, that is on 19th. Have Liverpool play United? Easy game. I don't think it will be an easy game. Easy game. The, easy the best peasy. these guys can get from that game is a draw. No. Then we have Everton Leicester on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. You've seen the today Leicester. How did Leicester today perform? They were beaten. They were beaten. Two one in Newcastle. I'll just give it a draw. Yeah, it will be a draw. Mm-hmm. Then Chelsea Arsenal. Oh. Interesting, you know, mm, right now London. Arsenal have to review the themselves. Battle of London continues. Oh god, it's gonna be that one is a game to watch. That's a game to watch. So I'll just give it draw draw. Keep in mind uh, uh-huh. London were, were beaten by Brighton. Mm-hmm. So Alright, Brighton seems to be be the king of uh, London. <laughs> 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 then uh, on Wednesday, that's on twentieth still we have Newcastle Crystal Palace. Mm-hmm. I'm in for Newcastle. Then you have Man City Brighton. I love that game because every time Man City always escapes yeah. in, a, in a nutshell. So, I swear. so maybe for, Brighton this time they will have it. They will build up from the last two games. I'm really betting for them. So then we have yeah. Then on Thursday we have Burnley mm-hmm. versus Southampton. Yeah, then uh, maybe on next uh, weekend, uh, the, the game we can look up, we have on Saturday 20, that is Arsenal versus Manchester United. Oh God, Manu, you, you better be strong. This is the battle because for the I'm top four, Because I'm just feeling for Ragnik, because if this then happen... This is the battle for the top four. Yeah, so he so he better get the position we, four. we got to bring our A game to that game, I swear. Anyway, guys... <laughs> Uh, we're so excited that you've watched that till the end. Mm-hmm. That's all we had to share for today. Um, so make sure you subscribe to get the notification of our next video. Mm-hmm. Please like and comment. leave us a comment, okay? Yeah, we really what do you appreciate feel? the comments that we're getting from yes, you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tell us what do you feel and what do you think of our commentary and our analysis, alright? Mm-hmm. So for now, it's a wrap. Thank you guys. Till the next video. Adios. Bye, bye, bye. See you guys. Thank you.